All right. Welcome back, gentlemen. Here we've got a video from the Whatever Podcast. We have Andrew Wilson, solution to women being manipulated, leaving these girls baffled. <laughs> Let's watch. Men can be um, kind of shaped into these behaviors that are damaging towards women. And I, I don't want to focus too much on the idea of coercion or overlooking soft nose and things like that, because I think more of the damage comes from things like lying and manipulating women into and using them for what would be an example of lying or manipulating a woman into sex? like if a, if a man who worked at mcdonald's said he was a lawyer would that be no would, like giving the i impression, mean it would but okay sure yeah sure um giving the impression that you're interested in having a relationship with somebody can't and, women do that too yeah but i i think it happens at a much higher frequency from the male mm. side because there's more incentive to no it doesn't it absolutely doesn't women have more incentive to lie to a man in the friend zone leading him on with the relationship when in reality they want nothing they just want the benefits that come with the friendship what is a man willing to do for me that's why women have the friend zone because men are willing to chase and climb the ladder for these women they're willing to take them out and pay for half the meal on the hopes that they just might get a little punani. But guess what? The girl's not interested, so she just gets a free meal. There's a whole culture around this. Women benefit off male and female friendships. We know this. Women manipulate men more than men manipulate women. That's why the reality is that manipulation is not something we need to get rid of. More men need to manipulate women into becoming the best versions of themselves for the family for the unity manipulation is a form of influence that men use to lead through communication manipulation is not a good or a bad thing it depends on how you use it if you're a man and you have standards you're willing to lead your woman you're willing to influence your woman by definition that means you are manipulating your woman it doesn't have to be a bad behavior now when you combine lying with manipulation to the point that this girl was making that can be an abusive behavior. That can be a toxic trait. But it's not toxic masculinity because masculinity in its essence is to provide and protect. That being said, men need to manipulate women if they want to lead their family in the right direction. If you tie your self-worth to how many women you have sex with and you tie your self-worth to... Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, do you think... So, I mean, it sounds like there's a gear, though like immediately it stands out to me that there's a cure. Now I understand what you're saying, at least. I understand your argument. You're saying, and, and I'll just kind of steel man this to make sure I get it right. You're saying, listen, if society is saying that men's self-worth is much higher based on you know how many women they're having sex with, then they have an incentive to have sex with more women, thus lie to more women about ha wanting to have a long-term relationship in order to have sex with them, right? Yeah, I would say that's part. Okay, well then, wouldn't the argument for this be female chastity? <laughs> wouldn't that literally cure that problem? <laughs> wouldn't female chastity literally cure that problem if women waited till they were married to have sex? Wouldn't that literally cure the problem? I don't think necessarily because part of the problem is the way that men view women, and that also needs. Yeah, to they do, okay, but if they view them as thing, I want. To you have see, sex. this is it's just such a simple answer that a woman has to say. All I have to say is that. Yes, it would cure the problem. But is that realistic for women, for all women to just stop having sex? No, it's not realistic. Now, is it realistic for some women to stop having sex? Okay, now what are the incentives that you're going to give women to not have sex? And how can you prove this? That would be an actual intellectual intelligent response that a woman would give. But instead, what she tries to do here is just dodge accountability. It's just, oh, you know what? Let me just try to reframe it into why the man is wrong instead of the woman. Why can't a woman take accountability? You're the one dodging it. You're the one that's a part of the problem. You're not willing to think. You're just willing to be defensive and do mental gymnastics around the question. If, if they're just objectifying them, right? Thing I want to have sex with. And a woman goes, well, you can't have sex till we're married. How's that not the cure? <laughs> oh man breathe air so that they can have sex with the person yeah but i mean but if, if that is the case then wouldn't that be vastly more preferable because you're saying they're lying to women about the wanting to have a long-term relationship with them 
I mean, marriage is certainly a long-term mm-hmm. commitment. <laughs> I can't think of not a- nowadays though not nowadays but it's it's so it, what's funny about this is that it's so easy to get married you can do it within less than a week but getting divorced that's the scary part that's what takes months to years maybe even year and a half minimalistically more long-term commitment than that sure I don't think it's necessarily preferable though because I think a lot of women are feeling like they are under, undervalued and like they are not being appreciated for who they are as a person and only being appreciated for what they have to offer sexually. Well, it seems wow. that if a man's willing to marry them, they seem to be appreciated for basically everything. But if you're getting, what do they say, right? It's the old saying, if you're getting the milk for free, right? Why buy if the you're cow? If you the milk for free, <laughs> uh, then why buy the cow, right? So the, the question becomes, if, if that is your argument, oh, and it man. doesn't, and I did steal Manny, you said it was, Male promiscuity, they have incentive to lie so they can have access to sex. Okay, that's a high status, right? Got it. Well, if that is the status, then it sounds like female chastity would essentially cure this issue. I mean, I I don't see how it wouldn't. I don't think it does because I think part of the problem is that women want to be valued for more than that. So then why not just not open your legs and actually show what you can be valued for? What do men value in women today, right? Women believe that they're valued based on how much money they make, how much experience they have, how many college degrees they have, the kind of job they have in the position they hold, the level of status that they have, how much attention they can get from guys. This is how women hold them. This is what women want to be valued on. But in reality, men don't care about any of those things. Only women that speak to other women care about those things. So are you trying to attract women or are you trying to attract men? What do men value? Men value a woman that's patient. Men value a woman that's intelligent when it comes to knowing when to speak and when to be quiet. That's a level of resilience that most women do not have, and that's why men value it in the first place. Men value women that are happy and want to cook to nurture their man so that, so that they could make sure that they could eat together a good, pleasant meal that their wife prepared for them and their husband bought for them. That's the give and take. That's the checks and balances you've got. This is what men really want. They want nurturing women. But what do we get instead? A girl that's working a nine to five full time while also trying to raise a child and then while also expected to cook and clean. You don't have time to do all those things. Modern women take women's value for granted today. Yeah, but they would be being valued for more than that. They would be getting married to men, right? Those men would definitely value them. Or they wouldn't be marrying them, right? But if they're still just marrying them because they want that status of or the access to a woman, I don't think... Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just assume for a second that like only 5% of them marry completely on the condition that that's the only way they can have sexual access. Wouldn't that still be completely superior in every way to modernity that you're talking about right now? Uh, I don't think that a 5%... I don't think that would be inaccurate. Oh, let's say it's 50%. Wouldn't that still be superior no. to the modernity that you're... T- How would it not? So, so, Sorry, in your example or scenario, is it like a society where we're not allowed to get divorced? Or it's just like modern that? society. Modern society where you're saying there's a plague of men who will lie to women in order to get sexual access. And like, okay, but if they lie to the woman and say, hey, I love you, but I'm willing to marry you and take care of you for the rest of your life in order to get access to that sex... How is that still not superior to the idea that they can just hump you and dump you? I don't like. I don't get that. Like, I suppose that's sup- you could say that's superior, but how do we get there? And why do you think it's just yeah? But from but women? that's not really the question of how we get there. We first have to establish that that has to be superior to what we now have. I'm not committed to an answer. <laughs> anything. She will literally say anything but the right answer. She'll say anything. She'll do anything. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. It's fun to watch. It's hilarious to watch, man. Just wa- watching her stumble around the truth. You can't handle the truth. You're not committed to an answer. So you don't. You think it would be inferior? 
that if men were marrying women for access to the sex, that that would be an inferior system to what we have now? Or they just lie to them and then bang them and there's no consequences whatsoever? I don't see why it would be superior. If, if Well, because they would be in this, because your, your issue is they're lying, right, so that they can have sex and there's no social repercussions and they're lying about wanting a long-term relationship. But if they marry you for the sex, they're definitely committing to a long-term relationship. Okay, I, okay, yeah, I see your point with that. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. So then I guess. So, so so then like female chastity, which should really be our kind of our number one thing we're looking at here, right? I think I, I still don't necessarily agree. Okay, no. let me let me flesh out as to why I believe she doesn't agree. She doesn't agree because back in the day, or like I would say like 10, 15, 20 years ago, whatever. When you tell a woman to not have sex, what is she naturally going to want to do? Use reverse psychology. She's going to want it even more. The more you keep her from having sex, the more she's naturally going to want to have sex. So the reality is to not just suppress women's sexual desires, but to actually flesh them out and to have a good father, a strong father, a capable father, a father that a daughter trusts and respects to tell his baby girl hey, men are going to value you based on how many guys you sleep with. I don't say this because I want to hurt you. I don't say this because I want you to, I don't, I want you to um, repress your sexual desires. It's okay to have sexual desires, but do it with a guy that you want to hold down. Do it with a guy that you want to build a long-term relationship with instead of just basically having, hooking up with him, having sex with him, and then breaking up. You should want to be with him for as long as you possibly can, because this is what makes you valuable to men. This is how you show your loyalty towards man, towards another man. And to say anything different for other women to try to just lie and, do and, and dodge this, all these women look at their lives in 10, look at their lives after 30, look at their lives after 40. You know that aunt you have that's single and it's never been married? You could end up like her if you make the same decisions she did. So you have to learn to respect yourself so that a man can respect you. As a man, you put yourself in the best possible position so that your daughter would want to listen to you in the first place. And that's why this girl is just having trouble basically saying that because she just doesn't want to feel repressed. The more you make a woman feel repressed, the more she's going to want to act out those behaviors because they almost become taboo. They're forbidden. And they like that. It's exciting for them to be a little bit forbidden, right? That's that whole city boy, city boy, <laughs> city boy reverse psychology. What, 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 do, what do you think the big value is women are bringing to the table absent sex? I actually want to know the answer to that question. This is such a point. Love and friendship. <laughs> Love and friendship. You this is you such a pointless friendship from men. Why do you need friendship from women? It's friendship with all these extra benefits: sharing your whole life with somebody, having a child with them, merging worldviews. So sex, huh? Sex. Shit. But so, so I mean, a, so so instead of when you're saying friend, the distinction between you being a friend with a guy and and you having a wife is your wife is your friend who you also so have, have sex, sex with. with. It sounds like the value here. <laughs> This sucks. Still seems to be the sex. <laughs> like, uh, because you can have all those other conditionals with other people, but the sex seems to be the thing you are putting a value emphasis I, on. I disagree, and I don't think sex should be the primary value because sex is kind of. Oh my God. He said it in, pl he said it in plain English. Sex is the glue that keeps men and women together in relationships. Women that say, I don't think sex is a priority in a relationship are quite literally the ones that are like star, that literally just starfish in bed. They call themselves pillow princesses. They don't want to do, they don't really care about the sex. <laughs> or really, like, as a man, but as a man, you really got to take it as she really just doesn't want to have sex with you. And that's why men need sexual experience to lead these women in the right direction when it comes to sex. No matter what you say, you have to understand that men and women both value sex in a relationship. It is a primary. It is super important because what differentiates you, a man and a woman, from being friends is sex. That's what dating is. Break down the word dating. What does it rhyme with? Mating. 
you are dating somebody with the potential to mate with them. Some of the comments right here. Uh, being educated does not necessarily mean intelligent. Well, there you go. Completely agree. She doesn't want to lose the argument, even at the cost of making her look stupid. Well, there you go. Modern women nowadays dodging accountability, even if it makes them look stupid. Bumbaka! <laughs> forget, don't forget, guys. If I provided you with any sort of value, entertainment, right, or something that you could actually apply to your life, drop a like on the video, all right, or subscribe. Jesus.